I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below. If you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box, and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Happy Monday, you guys. I'm so excited to be back and to finish up our project from yesterday. But first, we got to do some talking about some things. Number one, let's chit chat all about um, the awesome project or the awesome item that you see in front of you. That is our Club Couture design. Now, what is Club Couture? Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing creativity to your door every single month. It's $19.99 plus tax in the US, $26.99 plus tax in Canada, and it ships free to you every single month. That's right, I said free, you guys. And that is not the only benefit. Let me show you, number one, what comes with Club Couture every single month. Every month you will get an exclusive size B transfer similar to the one you see here. This just happens to be July's Club Couture plus three coordinating chalk paste singles. Um, every month that will come to you. Now, as a Club Couture customer of mine, you're going to get some pro bonuses and some perks. Number one, when you join Club Couture under me, you will go into my private Club Couture group where I'll make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. That is number one. You will also get the brand new fall winter catalog. Already ordered them on Friday. They are coming to my doorstep. I should be getting them hopefully within the next week and I'll be getting them out to you. The second awesome thing when you join Club Couture is that you will get bonus flat rate shipping. So all my customers already get $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada for flat rate shipping. But as a Club Couture customer, you're going to get $4.95 flat rate shipping in the U.S. and $9.95 flat rate shipping in Canada on your entire order. You guys, that's everything. It could weigh 400 pounds. It's still shipping to you for those prices. And next, you will also have access to private Chalk Couture sponsored sales. And guess what? The Club Couture customers this month are getting a pretty awesome one. And there's only two days left to get a hold of it. It's called the Bounce Back promo. What'll happen is, is as a Club Couture customer, you can go in and shop in my online store. And if you spend $50 US, $65 Canada, in my online store, you're going to get a coupon for $20 off your order placed between August 1st and August 31st. Now, you need to do the $50 US 65 Canada order 
by Wednesday at 8.59 a.m. Mountain Standard Time in order to make this happen. So don't forget and don't lose out. Now, I realize I threw a whole lot of info out at you. If you would like to get Club Couture info sent to you, please just comment club down below and I will be sure to message you all of those details. The next thing I want to talk to you about before we jump into today's project is the ability to purchase a business in a box and launch your empire and join my team, you guys. I would love to have you as part of the award-winning Crafty Chalkers team. It's only $99 plus tax in the shipping in the U.S. and $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada to join my team. When you join my team this month, you guys, there's so many amazing things. Number one, you're going to get the brand new Colonial Blue Chalk Paste. We don't even have access to that yet. Only new designers. Additionally, you're going to get a shimmer paste in your new designer kit. That is so awesome. And as you can see, there are four brand new transfers that are in that kit that we don't even have access to get yet. How cool is that? And... If you join during the month of July, when you join my team and you achieve your designer debut period, which ends the end of October, you have the ability to earn this exclusive transfer, stay focused and extra sparkly, along with a three ounce jar of sparkling unicorn paste. How amazing is that? Now, you might be saying to yourself, Jess, I got so many questions and you threw so much at me. No worries. Come and join down below. I will message you the, the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail, including the July promo with the exclusive transfer and unicorn paste. Um, so that way you can watch and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Tour, but joining my team. I want it to be a good fit for you and I want you to be happy with your decision. Now, let's jump into our creating. Here's a little something on the screen for all of my new friends who are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture. Um, I want you to know a little bit about it before we get into this. So hi, Teresa and Rhonda over on YouTube. Hi, Nellie and Debbie and Diana and Linda and Chris and Lourdes and Jen Jones. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Kathy Toms. Hey, Mary Beth. Oh, good. You got the apples. I'm so glad. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Viola Pitcher. Viola, I am going to message you the link to my VIP group because if you're not a designer, I would love to have you as a customer. Um, so I just messaged you that link. Let's see. Um... Hi, Sheila. Hi, Vicki Keller. How you doing, Vicki Keller? Big time winner. Hi, Carol. Hey, Chris. Hi, Jen Jones. Hi, Kate Smith. Hi, Claudia. Hey, Sheila Rowland from sunny Seattle. Hi, Vicki Hunter. I'm so glad you're on your break, Kathy Toms. Hi, Nancy Sampson. Hi, Levita. Hey, Kim Castleberry. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Jody. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Karen. Hey, Lori Robbins. Hi, Euphrasia. Viola, I will message you as soon as this is done. Hi, Christy Perez. Hi, Mary Ager. How are you? Hi, Rhonda Camp. Hey, Krista Mahan. Um, let's see. One second here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, all righty. Got it all in. So, you guys, we did the super cute apples, and guess what? Tell me these suckers do not look real. So they, I waited the 24, well, not 24 hours. I waited overnight and they were totally dry. They were on there. And then I used this stuff because I can't find my Krylon, Krylon spray. I think I lent it to Mads for a project that she made for her husband. So I couldn't find it, but I had this, this clear acrylic, acrylic gloss coating dries in minutes creates a permanent weather resistant finish which is exactly what I wanted and it sure did and it made the apples super shiny like I legit want to just take a bite out of them so check out how cute they turned out well now that we made the oh uh, now that we made the apples you guys we got to make the the base for them to be held in don't you think so I want to real quick tell you what I used in order to make these um these uh, apples. So I ordered um, the apples off um, online. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a list in the comments here. So you'll just have to scroll through the comments if you're watching the replay. Here is all of the items that I used to make these goodies. Okay. I think I put it in there. There you go. Okay. Everything that I used, everything that I needed is right there. Okay. Okay. 
Um, the only thing I didn't put in might be the, um, the little dowels, but I think people have dowels, but if you need the dowels, let me know. So these were the apples, right? I didn't do all of them. I saved one for display. So let's just put that little cutie right there and hope nobody steps on it. All right. Um, so use these cute little dowels to push them into the apples. I mixed mod, po whoopsie, whoopsie. We're having an avalanche. Hold on. Get in there. There it goes. Um, I mixed, get in. I can't get my scissors back in. That stinks. Um, I mixed Mod Podge along with Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Indoor Outdoor Classic Caramel Paint. Okay. And I painted the apples. Okay. You can kind of see them here. See right here? Like that's the paint and the Mod Podge. Then I used the K-Cob, which I later found out was bedding for animals, like gerbils and hamsters and all of that, rabbits, and sprinkled it over it to make it look like it was food, to make it look like it's nuts. It legit looks like a caramel apple, you guys. Look at that. So I let them dry um, overnight, and then I sprayed them this morning. But I did these for a... I want to make decor piece, right? So I got this super cute little, am I going to knock into them? I got this super cute little bucket thing, this little wood crate thing from my favorite store in my favorite section. Um, and we're going to paint it and we're going to add a little something from the vintage truck add on fall um, to this. And I figured we could fill it with like raffia um, or straw or something and some burlap and we'll cover up the apples. I just thought it would be so, so cute. So let's do that part today so we can get this finished. Okay. And I wanted to add some cute little ribbons to my caramel apples as well. Um, because we want to have a fun little finished project, right? So I'm going to stain. Ouch. Get out. I have everything shoved in here so tight. It's not even funny. Um, Everything's just shoved in. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just stain this little bucket. Okay. Or a little, I don't know what to call it. A crate maybe. We're going to stain it. And I need to move. You guys, Diet Coke with lemon chunks is the bomb. Man, I could drink that all day, every day. I love it. All right. So here we go. Now we can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to use this. Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint, and I'm going to I'm gonna stain this, if I could get it out. And probably should wear some gloves, but you know me, that's not how I roll. God forbid I do anything where my hands stay clean. Not me, friends. So I'm going to just use a pan. <laughs> well, I, you know what? No, I'm going to do it that the way with a foam brush. Let me do it with a foam brush. I was going to say, oh, I'm just going to, you know... Use a paper towel. No, 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 silly. You're going to use a foam brush and you're going to do it that way. Okay? Because then hopefully I can see, whoa, how dark it'll wind, end up being. Oh, yeah. I want it to look like an apple barrel. Nice and dark. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'll probably do two coats or so. I mean, it's soaking right in, which is really nice. But I want it to be nice and dark. Maybe if I do use a brush, my hands won't get dirty. That could be a bonus. So what's everybody doing today? What is happening around you? Fill me in. And I'm going to give you, make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to sneak peek a project that I did for our chalk con with one of the brand new transfers and then tomorrow night you can come on back to take a look at the new catalog i'm going to go through it live 7 30 p.m eastern standard time is when i go live on tuesdays so everybody should get a chance to be able to see it oh guys this this wood took this stain so beautifully love it Maybe I won't be doing two coats. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of 
the regular apples with the caramel apples in this because I think it'll look super cute. And it's going to be so fun for fall decor. Um, I can't take it. Okay, that looks good. I really was hoping to be able to paint the little rungs. Oh, there it goes. That looks a little better. That looks better. Okay. And I'm sure it's not dry yet, but we're going to flip it anyway. There we go. see who we got. Hey, Janstar. Oh, good, Teresa. I'm glad you were watching. Oh, good, Mary Beth. I'm so excited. You guys like the baskets? When you are done going to do my walking in the pool. Awesome, Vicky. Hi, Rhodes getting chewed up for paving. Ugh. Canning green beans. That's fun. Monday's laundry day. My day is great, Patty Camp, or Patty Cram. Thank you so much for asking. Love lemon or lime and Coke, but cherry. Co oh, Chantel, cherry Coke's my favorite girlfriend. Oh, I could tear up some cherry Coke. You know what is actually better than cherry Coke? I don't know if you guys have a place called Friendlies. It's like an ice cream restaurant. Um, they've been around for forever. Uh, they make a vanilla Coke that is out of this world. O M G I could me and big brand love vanilla Coke. There's been times where we literally like, yes, it's an ice cream place, but we literally went there to just grab a, a vanilla Coke. We got it to go. It was so good. Oh my God. I love it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Go over this a little bit more on this side. Yeah, the stain is taking so nicely. Seriously. Look at that. It just looks so nice. Love, 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 love. Oops. Oh, it's looking so good. It looks like I have sunburn. It's just my romper that I'm wearing today. I just wanted to be totally comfy today because I've been dressed up the last few days. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. Let's just be comfy. I was going to wear my pajamas, but I had to run out to the store to go to the post office to mail something to one of my friends. My sweet sage. I had to mail her something. Well, I might be wearing this now. And I'm thinking I'm going to, I think I should paint the inside. Don't you guys agree? The inside should be painted, right? I'm going to do it super quickly. It doesn't have to be all fancy on the inside because it's mostly going to be covered up. I would kind of just like the top portion because I plan to do, like I said, raffio or straw or hay. So even just the top portion would be good. But it's going pretty quickly, so I'll just keep on painting this. 
And then hopefully by the time I'm done doing this, the outside will be dry and then I can chalk it because I'm super excited. Like I am nowhere near ready to start decorating for fall. But like Big Brand said the other day, no way. It's still summertime. He's not ready for fall yet. And believe me, he is a fall guy. He loves the fall. He is a Halloween. He loves, loves, loves Halloween. Loves, loves, loves it. Okay, just got these last two sides left and we are done. Oh, hands are cramping a little bit by doing this. Hi, babes. Yo, hey. Yo, hey. That's what he says, guys. Yo, hey. Got done work at a good time today, which is pretty awesome. I love when he gets done a little early. I'll look at comments in just a sec, you guys. Let me just finish. I'm just about done painting. I just want to get it done so that way I can stop making a mess. So cute. Okay, it's good enough. Like I said, the inside does not need to be perfect because we are doing, um, oh gosh, get in there. Because we're going to fill it. Okay, so let me quick, quick dry it so that way I can chalk. Oh my gosh, it's like super wet. Mm. Hey Pam, the apple barrel paint that I used was classic caramel. If that helps. Thanks, April. Hi, Steve. Sweet tea, yum. Hey, Karen Edwards. You can put whatever flavor you want. What? That you want so good. Yum. You use the same stain. It works great. Yes, it does, Kathy. Hi, Kim Bat. Regular old stain. It was um, folk art wood tint walnut. Maple Coke in Canada, huh, Lori? That's different. Do the whole thing. You don't know what you want to do with it in the future. Very true, Vicki. Oh, Jeanette Holmes, I'm so happy. You are so welcome, girl. Yay, Becky, it's my fave too. Lori is in British Columbia, found it in a deli there. Wow. Will you wax it before you chalk it? Probably not, Kathy, because it is really a smooth surface. You're welcome, Pam. Teresa Roller, I use folk art wood tint in walnut. Wow, oh, that's super hot. Well, you know what? Now that I painted it, it feels funny. So maybe I will wax it a little bit.
I think we're dry, guys. We look dry. Yay! Hi, Jeannie. Yes, apple barrel paint for my apple project. Thanks, Carolyn. It was this apple. Or it was this um cor this color. Okay. So now that we have the apple, the ba the the container all all um stained. Now we're gonna get, and I gotta grab it from over here, my vintage truck add-on fall because. We are going to use, ouch, the transfer out of there. I just got to find it. Vintage truck add-on fall. Where would you be? Come on. Hold on, you guys. I'm just trying to find it. I know it's here. Copy. Here it is. Crisp apples. Let me pull everything out of this one. And I'm thinking we should probably do a vintage truck on the side. Don't you think? Hopefully, it's going to fit. Okay. So number one, let's cut this a little bit. Ooh, this is from the Vintage Truck Add-On Fall. I'm just trying to get some of these smaller, some of these pieces cut a little smaller so they're easier to manage on the table right now. No. Everything is falling. So this vintage truck add-on fall has, let's get this stuff out of the way. Um, hold on. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need all these apples right now. So let me move some of these. Okay. Hold on. Just gonna move some real quick. Cause they're kinda sorta cramping my space. Kinda sorta cramping my style. Let's get them out of the way. These guys over here won't cramp my style. Let's get that out. There we go. Okay, now we're going to have some room. So, we've got corn maze. We've got this way too. We've got hay bales and corn stalks. We've got harvest festival. Oh, I like that. We got farmer's market. We've got market and antique shop open daily. We've got a big giant arrow. Hay rides, pumpkin patch, fresh local produce. We've got hay bales. We've got the apple barrels. We've got pumpkins. We've got a big hay bale. Um, and we've got crisp apples. Now, let's hope that they're small enough. Oh my gosh, it's going to be super tight, but it is going to fit. So we are going to do crisp ass, cri wow, crisp, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, crisp apples. I don't know why I can't talk. Oh my goodness. Yes, Pam Alexander on YouTube. They totally are. Hi, Dion. Hi, Heather Basner. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Congrats to you, too. We got some team awards, girlfriend. How much Mod Podge? Um, I did probably about a half cup of Mod Podge to about maybe a half cup to three quarters of a cup and about a quarter to a half cup of the Apple Barrel Classic Caramel Paint. Thanks, Carolyn. Okay, ready? Let's do this. Now, I need to fuzz this up. What am I doing? So I'm going to take our fuzzing towel, and you're you may not see me do this. Off. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We almost lost an apple. Um, you may not see me do this off to the side, but I'm going to. I'm just using the fuzzing towel to quick fuzz my transfer. Okay. So... 
I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to try to center it as best I can. Oh gosh. Hold on. That. It legit fills from top to bottom with these words. Wowza. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty even to me. Okay, I think I'm going to do it in bright white chalk paste because I think it's going to look super good. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should do... No, we'll do bright white. I think we're going to do bright white because it's a dark color stain that I did. I was going to, I was considering doing it in candy apple, but no, it's okay. All right. I'm going to mix up my chalk paste. It's a little difficult to do this at this angle with this big jar. Like I said, I'm so glad we stopped selling these gigantic jars of paste. They're not very easy to work with. And I end up wearing the chalk paste all over me. All right, so let's get a squeegee. And we're gonna make sure that this is down really well first. And then I'll pull some chalk paste across. Across. I keep saying, I always say that, and I don't know why it comes out that way. Across. I know there's no T at the end of a cross. I think it's my accent. Don't be mad at me. Okay. Hot damn, that looks so good. Okay. Oh my gosh. It looks awesome. I think that looks good. Hi, Burn. <laughs> it's like, it's patriotic. You're absolutely right, Kate. Patriotic all over again. Yes. Thanks, Sarah Weddingfeld. How are you? Do off-white. Darn it, we don't have an off-white right now, Vicki. It's all sold out. Chalk it where it comes like the letters are dipped in caramel. Oh, that would be too fun. That would be really cute, Becky. Across. Does he do the same thing? Oh, my gosh. It must be brothers and sisters rubbing off of each other. Trying to make sure that I... Do it sort of centered. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Looks pretty straight too. Oh my goodness. Let's make sure it's pushed down because I'll probably screw it up if I don't do that. Wait, is that A? No, it looks straight. Okay. Let's rock and roll with this. And I, re I have a cute idea. Remember I told you I wanted to think on the chalkable chips? Like an idea for chocolate chips around the fake apples. I think I have an idea. We're going to do that too. I mean, you guys, this is going to be like the, whoopsie, the cutest decor ever. Came out perfect. Oh, I love it. Okay. Okay. Let's try it so I don't mess it up. Of course, I did. I got some white down there for my grubby little fingers. Okay. 
I'm wondering, should I do, because from this vintage add on fall, hmm, I'm wondering, oh wait, if I should throw on where it says like fresh produce or something, do I have enough room to do that? I can't do fresh local produce. I could do local produce. Which would be like as if you were in a store. Oh, too cute. Let's maybe we should do that. Do you guys agree that we should just do local produce on the very bottom? Vote now. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Deborah Mae Jones. Thanks, Dion. Oh, burn. You're going to love them. Thanks. Let me know what you guys think. Should I add local produce? What do you think? You guys tell me. Yes, yes, fresh produce, local produce, local produce. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good, you guys. What if you took a cardboard box with a bowl of the K-Cob and sprayed them with the Rust-Oleum Universal Spray and they look like Carvel Chocolate Crunchies? Oh, John, that would be super cool. That totally would. Thanks, Deb. Oh, great, you did? Oh, sorry, Mary. I will get you in there right now. Hold on. Hold on, Mary. Sandra, Jan, Teresa, Pam, Dion, Byrne, all say yes. Awesome over on YouTube. So we're going to do that right now. Let's see. You are in, girl. Okay, we're back. Okay, so let's do the local produce. Let's get it that on there. Am I going to do anything on the opposite side? I could. I could say open daily. But I think because um, it's probably going to be facing the back. I'm thinking this will be the front that people will see. I may not put anything on the back. I'm not really sure. It's a great question. Great, 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 great question. That looks nice. Oh, my God. I never do anything straight, and I think I did it straight this time, which makes me feel like I'm probably going to mess it up then. Like, I think I even left enough room in between everything, which I usually don't. It's usually all wonky, and I think I did do it right this time. Yikes. That was a lot of paste. Whole lot of paste. The hay happened there. There it goes. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good you guys I still get amazed three years exactly three years ago I got my first chalk couture items it was my brand new new designer kit it was three years ago today I got it and I still get amazed every freaking time I make something hello okay just a suggestion how about ground cinnamon in the basket or a drop of cinnamon oil in the tree <gasps> Yes, Tammy. I was thinking, what if I put like some the pine cones underneath? But I like the cinnamon oil and that'll make it smell like fall. Yes, Debbie Green, I totally could. Yeah, like pine. Yes, yes. I'll do leave the one side free. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is great. Let's do this. And now let's make some chalk chips. For our apples, because we're gonna we got we can't just have the apples just sitting there without anything on them, right? 
so I'm thinking I thought it would be cute to do the little apple barrels the little um let's put this right here for right now um oh my gosh what is happening where are they the cute little apple baskets on them I, I thought that might be fun um I <laughs> we are getting the locally grown um I think that's what it was called locally grown the minis back but I don't think there was anything that said anything about <coughs> excuse me that said anything about um apples I looked last night and I didn't see anything that like said anything like that so it's okay we're gonna do this instead Hi, babes. Can I ask you to wash these two for me? Do you mind? Uh, Neat. Really? Trash, so. Oh, you are? Trying to be. Okay. Then just leave them back there for me. It's fine. Man. Man hear him? Man. Bad time. Always bad time. Well, no. <laughs> okay. So let's do this. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Leanne. Oh, Debbie Green, you're so cute. Thanks. Right, Burn? Isn't that a great idea? Thanks, Pam. Okay, so let's make some little... I think I'm going to just do the main little basket with the little apples. And I'm going to do some copper paste for the basket. And then I'm going to get some candy apple for the apples. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to make a few of these. I'm just going to re repeat them. Oops, I forgot to write you on the back. Because our transfers are reusable. So we're going to say apple baskets. Apples. Okay. So I have five apples that I want to wrap up and stick inside. So I think I'm going to make five of these. They'll be so cute, right? And then we'll put some cute little ribbon on them and we'll put them inside a little plastic baggie, which I was hoping to get today, but I didn't get a chance to run out to there. I just, like I said, I just ran to the post office like lightning quick. All right, so I'm only going to do this middle guy here, okay? And we're going to use our shimmer copper for the basket and for the stems. You could probably do brown too, bark. But I'm going to do this. And I'm going to take a guess at where this ends. So I'm not doing rando pieces. I'll make sure it works out first. And if I go, like, I clearly just went over just now, it's going to come off with glitter. I'm not worried. Figure out which ones don't belong. And I'll just take them right off. Okay. Yeah, see how I went a little over and got the portion of the other basket? I'm not worried. I'll take off what doesn't belong with some water. Water. It sounds so funny if I say it that way. It's water, you guys. It's water. Mm. I believe shimmer copper is the color you get in the new designer kit, too. Ooh-wee. Like I said, whatever I went over, I'm not concerned. I'll clean it up. 
It's super easy to take off chalk paste where it doesn't belong. No big deal. Just going to make a few of these for my fun little apples that I've got. Whoops. Totally went crazy town there. do five of them because I plan to put five apples inside my basket. Come on. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Hi, Judy Wilburn. How are you? <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. Fun with accents, huh, Debbie? It's so cute. All right. One last one. Okay. And then we'll do the apple stems. And then I'm going to see if the little baggies that I have are big enough. And we're going to put them inside the little baggies with our chalk chips. It's going to be so cute. Okay. We're done this. Let's get this closed up. to be cleaned okay let's dry them all real quick and we're going to clean them up don't worry because there's some spots I put my fingerprint in them pulling it off it's fine it's not a big deal we're going to clean it it's chalk paste it comes off so whatever is not meant to be won't be okay Oh gosh, the scissors. I'm gonna wind up cutting myself. Stay. Okay, so we got our apples next, right? Sink is zinc. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. One at a time here. Let's do this one because this one is the one that has the least amount of mistakes on it. Well, not mistakes, extras. We don't need all the extras. Yay, it all lines up right. Oh, how cute. Oh my God, these are going to be adorable. I can't wait. Another squeegee. My candy apple is still super, well, not super liquidy, but it's still good and liquidy, so I don't have to stir it. And there's a big enough gap that I shouldn't go into the opposite side, so that is good. Let's see how they look. Oh! <gasps> Look how cute. We'll clean it up. Don't worry. We're going to clean it up. We're going to clean it up. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. That would be big brand blowing his nose. My goodness, they're so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love my little apples. 
Whoa, that was way too much candy apple. Miss Wilson, what are you thinking? Like I said, whatever we go over that wasn't supposed to be, we're going to take away anyway. So it's A-OK. -okay. Do not fear. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I don't think I can take the cuteness. I really don't think I can. <laughs> last one and then we're going to play clean up of the areas that we no longer want where they are So we've got our apples all done. So let's go ahead. Let's clean these up. I know this is a little bit longer of a live than you guys are used to with me, but I promise you it's going to be so worth it. I really do. Ow. Ooh, that hurt my nail. I'm trying to get out my crocodile next. Get in there. Okay, we need some Swiss spurs. We need to spray some water. Okay. So are going to be so cute. I see how easy it is. Just quick clean up. And look at our fun little chalk chips. Whoops, hold on. There we go. How cute is that? Wouldn't you love to get a caramel apple that had this cute little tag? I would. Absolutely would. Okay, and we're just going to repeat this until they're all done. Now, I'm likely not going to make you guys stay on while I clean these all up, but I kind of want to just so you can see how quick and easy this is. It takes no freaking time at all, really. See? Look at that. See, guys? Like, it's so simple. Can't see where the water's going. Look at that. 
so, so, so cute. Can not deal with it. Look at these. Almost done. Yeah, we did. Let's just get them done. That way we can chalk, we can punch our holes with our crocodile and we can get them cute little ribbon on them. It's going to be adorable. I honest cannot honestly cannot even take the cuteness that's going to ensue from this. Look, we only have two left. See, it went super quick to clean them up. Right, guys? Super, super, super quick. Can I get some more water in here? Oh, yeah, there it goes. There's my water. Cannot take it because it's so cute. Oops, that would be right on my finger. Go. And we got one last one and we're done. That wasn't so bad, now was it? Really wasn't, you guys. Just get that excess off, and then... Let me go grab what I'm hoping the bags that will hold our faux caramel apples. Gosh, I'm so hoping they will. Because if not, I'm going to kick myself for not running to the store today for that. And up at the tippy top at, was where I accidentally dropped my thing. Okay, so they are all cleaned off. So now let's use our crocodile, little crocodilly, and we're gonna punch a hole. That is way too far back. Well, that stinks. Oh, there it goes. I would say that stinks. I can't even get my fingers in there now because of my nails. But I think we're good. See, I just punched a hole. We're going to take that piece that pops out and throw it away. We're just going to repeat with the other four really quickly. I'm going to try my best to get it in the center. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, I'm really okay with that. Seriously fine. No, that was not so good. Last one. Oh, guys, it's so cute. Hey, jeez, so. Okay, let's throw these things out. Let's get our baggies 
and our ribbon and we'll tie our chalk chips on and we'll get back out our bucket our crate that we made let me grab my little baggies please god be I'll just have to think of something else. That's all I can do. Okay. So here's the size I want to use. These are ones from like Dollar Tree. Okay. See these? Let's see. <gasps> I think it's going to fit. They fit! Yay! Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. We need this out of the way. Oh, yay. They fit, they fit. Like I said, these are just cheapy ones from Dollar Tree. They're like the little goodie bags. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Margaret Miller. Hi, Suze. That's wicked cute. Oh, you're so funny, Suze. I miss you. God, I miss you so bad. Thanks, guys. Oh, they found that Glee girl. Oh, no. They So I take it she, they didn't find her alive. I know. And poor Kelly Preston. I didn't even know she was suffering from breast cancer. So, so sad, you guys. So, so sad. Hey, Gina. Thanks, Becky. It's called a crocodile. Hi, Penny. How are you? Miss you, girl. I had a great time with you on Friday. Okay. Just finished getting them bagged up. And then we'll tie our cute little ribbon with our fun little chocolate chips. So wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. So two won't have the chalk chips, and that's fine. Because I'll probably leave these... I may not, I, I'll probably tie the cute little ribbon around these. No, actually, you know what? I'm probably not. Two of them I think I might leave open to continue with the decor. You know what I'm saying? I'll just get, ouch. I'll just get um, them in baggies so they don't make a mess. If I knock them over. All right. Alrighty, so I only need one, two, three, four, five. Let's put these two over here again. Stay. And let's get out our fun ribbon. Oh my gosh, let's see what we're going to use. We're probably going to use, oh, maybe some burlap would be fun. Some buffalo plaid would be fun. Some twine would be fun. OMG. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So, let's get these guys over here. Let's get this over here so I don't knock into it. Let's get this. Oh! Knocking everything down. Awesome sauce. Okay, let's get all of these out of the way since I'm done with the transfers. I'll put them back in my... Come on back into my bag okay now we're gonna tie our sweet little chocolate chips with some ribbon let's open this burlap this screams fall to me this color Sandra Jackson I can someone help in the comments I get it got it from my favorite store in my favorite section I can't I can't say it while I'm live but there is someone who in the comments, Sandra, Burn, you know my favorite store, favorite section. Will you say it? Jan Sta, Dion, if you guys are still watching on YouTube, I'd be super appreciative. Okay, so I'm going to just cut a piece of this. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it into strips because, well, for starters, why did I cut it as long as I did? Someone's going to comment, Sandra, in the, in the comments. Or just go back to the video I did yesterday early morning. There it goes. Dion's got you on YouTube, Sandra. Thank you, Dion. 
Okay. I'm just going to cut these into strips just so they can be cute and tied. One, two, three. I don't really know why I cut out as much as I did. Definitely didn't need that much. Okay, last cut with this, and that way we have them all cut out. And then we'll do some of our buffalo plaid ribbon. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. And then I have some raffia and some fatter burlap. I think it's going to look so cute. Two, three. Oh, don't do it. Four, five. No, don't go nowhere. these all cut okay oh for real okay good sorry I had a phone call okay let's get this and this out of the way now okay we'll save this for next time because that's way too much to just get rid of and we just need some twine now oh you guys it's gonna be so cute one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now let's grab up and put these into little sections here. Let's get these out of the way. I feel like I'm working in a cramped space. I don't like that. That is the worst. This out of the way. This out of the way. Okie dokie. So start off with our first bag. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our twine and we're going to just tie it around first. Then we'll leave the twine hanging, right? Let's, I mean, I think it should be okay. I'll do a double knot just to be safe. Okay. Thanks, Wendy. Hi, Edna. Don't they look so real, Suze? I know, Dion. It's so sad. Do you have a white basket yesterday? Or was it? I did have a white basket yesterday. Well, it was a it was a beige one, and I painted it. Oh, you guys are so good! It does look like a bullseye. You got yours in New York, Ann? Okay. Ha, Chan, you're funny. I'm going with you next time. You always find the cool stuff. Burn, I would love that. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is grab. Our buffalo plaid and our our like orangey color burlap and we are gonna just tie it around you know what I'm gonna do the the because I made it as long as I did I could do the burlap first okay keep the twine free because we need the twine to be out okay and then we can come in and we could do the sweet little buffalo plaid right across the top because it's so much tinier than the orange. Now, come in and grab one of your chalkable chips. And we're going to just tie it in with the twine into this. Okay, why did I put the scissors back? I should have known full well I was going to need them again. Okay, 
and you can even pull some of your um, your burlap to make it fray a little. That'll be cute. Okay. And we'll cut cute ends on our buffalo plaid. Let's flag them. And I get it. It might be a little bit of a time to make these. Like, it might take a little bit of time. But you guys, I promise you, they're going to look so cute. So, so cute. Look at that. Would you not want to buy that? And think if you had a display of these, mm, you'd be the talk of the town in your house. Okay, now that we know how we're doing it, this will take no time at all. And then we're going to set them up in our in our little wood crate. Okay, let's make an assembly line. Let's do them all this way first. We'll get the twine put on all of them. Are you guys in love or what? I am absolutely in love. Oh my gosh. They're just adorable, you guys. They are just adorable. Imagine if you had like a little Christmas party and you, uh, just fraying some of the edge before I get started on tying it. Um, imagine if you had like a cute little Christmas party, or not Christmas party, like a Halloween party and you made like caramel apples for your guests and you decorated them and you used the sweet little transfer and all. Wouldn't it be so cute? Oh, don't fray them before. Oh, I don't like that look. It's okay. I think it'll get covered by the buffalo plaid here. Don't fray before. I thought I was making it easier on myself. Nope. It destroyed it. Don't fray it. I'll come in and do the finishing touches on everything once I have all of them done. And then we're going to put it into our fun little crate that we made. And like I said, I know it may have taken some time. But it's going to be worth it. And you'll have them every year. Because it's fake, it's not going to draw bugs because we used no food. And not to mention we are sealing them up pretty tight. So, you know, there's that. Get it back over here. So cute. Cannot take it. Cannot, cannot. Spray them afterward. So much better. So much better. It didn't get destroyed. Oh no, am I missing one? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Last little orange burlap piece. And then we'll do the buffalo plaid piece and we'll tie on our chalk chips. You guys, I'm so glad you guys stuck with me through this because I think it turned out super freaking cute. That's just me though. I could be biased. Do you guys agree? Did they turn out cute? Would you waste the time doing them? I don't think it's time wasted, but that's just me. <laughs> oh my god, they're so precious. Oh, and you have a little bunch of them here. They're so cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yes, agreed, Dion. The sealer, I used a glossy sealer, and I think that truly helped. Truly, truly, girl. Okay. And I feel like this screams fall to me. Is it terrible that now all I want to do is work on fall stuff? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's come in. Let's cut 
and do our final final little decor pieces like I said doing the trimming of our 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 ribbons you guys it makes a huge difference in your presentation take the second to do it really this is extra long you don't need it that long same here that one it looks like a railroad track okay two done Look how fast this, this wound up going towards the end. Oh my goodness. this trimmed a little I don't know why in the hay I made these as long as I did I don't know what I was thinking like super Frankenstein-ish long please hold me so okay two left and then we're gonna put them in the baskets oh my gosh they're gonna be so good in the basket rather not in the baskets it's only one basket just oh my goodness i'm getting so excited i just want them done now because i can't wait to see how it's gonna look Okay, last one, and then it's going to be time to add them. Oh my God, it's going to look so cute. I can't even take it. I just know it's going to be. I just know it. Cut yourself. Goes. There it goes. Oh, see? Of course. Last one, and I almost mess it up because I'm trying to rush. It's okay. It still turned out okay. All right, so we've got our little apples all decorated. Oh my gosh, look how precious they are. Okay, let's get our basket out. What do I do with it? Okay, so we have our crisp apples local produce. So I've got some raffia here and some burlap. Oh, I wonder what would look better. I don't have very much burlap. Let's see. I had some raffia left from last year. I suppose we can go with the, the red or the maroon. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll go brown. We'll go with brown. If I had enough of the orange, that would have been super cute. Should we lay down a little piece of burlap in there to have it like throw? Oh, that could be so cute. Let's see, hold on. I put it through the handles. I wonder how that'll look. That could be super cute. 
<laughs> and I got to mix it up with some regular apples too. If I can still fit them in here. I may not be able to. I think it might have to be the five little five little can caramel apples. Oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. We got to come like this. Hold on. One second. <laughs> How freaking cute did this turn out? I can't take it. I can't take it at all. I can't take it. I can't take it. Do you love it? I love it. What do you guys think? Do you guys love this or what? Hi, Karen. I use a clear Krylon uh, or a clear coating spray, a ceiling spray that was glossy. I'll show you. Oh, I'm so glad. Right, Kathy? Yes, K Cup, K A Y. I posted everything that I used, you guys, to make these. Everything is in the comments. You just have to search for them. Um, everything was on here. Do you guys love it? Oh, my God. I'm so glad you guys. Oh, I'm glad, Teresa. Thanks, you guys. I hope you love it. I think, hold on. I might be able to copy and paste what I used. There it goes. I just put everything. Oh, Karen, you like it? Isn't it so cute? There's everything in there that I just used. I'll pin the comment to this, okay? You guys, it's precious. You can't see the, the raffia. I have to like redo that because I want to be able to see it. I want it to look super rustic. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. And then let me show you one of the apples up close. Faux caramel nut apples. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So I hope you guys enjoyed my project today. Um, I know it took a little while. It was about an hour and a half, but you guys, I think we did some fun things. So if you want to go into my VIP group and you're not a child couture designer, comment me down below. I'll message you the link to it. If you would like to get the details on purchasing our awesome business in a box and hearing all the details about our awesome July promo where you can get that exclusive size B transfer and the unicorn chalk paste, you cannot buy these. They, they don't exist. It's only for this promo. Um, come and join down below so I can message you the uh, link to my opportunity group so you can hear all about it. Um, and then if you'd like the details on our club couture, um, program, comment club down below and I will be sure to, um, send you all the details about it. So that's it. That's it. You guys, that's what I got. I hope you love this. Hopefully you guys will go ahead and make them too and make a heck of a lot of them and hopefully you love it and hopefully you decorate with it. That's it. That's all I got. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll be back tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m., right? Let's see. Hold on. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow night. We are going to go over the whole brand new catalog, which will launch on Wednesday at 9 o'clock a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So don't miss me. 7.30 tomorrow night, YouTube and Facebook, and we'll go over it. So have a great day, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.